This is, we're really part of an incredible racial and social justice community. And EJS plays our role in this. Many of your organizations play their role. But what we do, as Mona said, is we're transforming the nation's consciousness on race through law, social science, and the arts. There's so much to say. You'll see how we do it through the arts a little bit later when our, when our collaborators perform, and Stephen Anthony Jones, so fabulous, channeling Thurgood Marshall, who's our other godfather in terms of the work that we do. Um, really quickly, Stephen Anthony said something interesting. He said, sometimes art is just decorative, but there's another part of art that's about informing and inspiring and uplifting, and these are the artists who we work with. We had a performance of something called Dying While Black and Brown, and a young man walked into our performance in favor of the death penalty. He saw the dance performance. He heard Anthony Graves speak, speak, who had been on death row unlawfully and illegally for 19 years, and when he left, he was against the death penalty. I think this is something that can be, uh, I think art is much more transformative and visceral uh, than, than polemics and, and, and discussions, so I think art does move people. Social science, you're gonna hear from the fabulous Jennifer Everhart, who has done transformative and actually it's kind of sad work, not her work is sad, but it's sad to think about how we see each other. Um, if we don't see each other as individuals, we see each other as stereotypes. But having that understanding is allowing us to transform the, war, the, the law. Stephen Anthony Jones talked about the 14th Amendment. The conservative court that we have now says the only way you can prove that discrimination has occurred is if you prove that the discrimination was intentional, that it was motivated by racial animus. Most of us now know that most people don't want to be racist. I think the head of the Ku Klux Klan doesn't think he's racist. He's a little delusional, but I think that's what he thinks. But I do think we've come to a point in society where people do not want to be racist, yet you see the discriminatory outcomes for brown people, black people, Asian Americans, and a lot of this is motivated by unconsciously held views. We've been able to take the social science to the courts, um, EJS made a presentation to the Ninth Circuit last summer. Justice Anthony Kennedy happened to be there. He heard a discussion about implicit bias in the fair housing case that he uh, was the deciding vote on this uh, last June. He said that unconscious bias often might be a reason that uh, negative decisions are made in who gets what housing. He talked, in his opinion, about unconscious bias. That went straight from James <laughs> to transform law. So social science is very important. We follow the model of Thurgood Marshall, Charles Hamilton Houston, and others who use social science to show the corrosive impact of segregation. Our legal, pro our legal program does lots of different things. We've done amicus briefs. I think we uh, have a satellite office at Wilson Sonsini. They're working with us and bringing in the social science to bring before the court. We also make sure that we work on issues beyond race. It was very important to us as an organization associated with African Americans and Latinos to stand for marriage equality. I think we signed on to every, I think we signed on to every amicus brief and we were delighted this summer when the court finally did the, the right thing. We think somebody needs to let uh, Ms. Davis in Kentucky understand <laughs> how the law works. Um, I talked about the Fair Housing case. Allison Elder did an incredible uh, amicus brief to the Supreme Court that we think influenced Justice Kennedy. We're now working once again with Wilson Sonsini on a brief in Fisher versus University of Texas, which is the latest battle around race conscious um, remedies. We, when Katrina happened 10 years ago, we actually sued FEMA because they were doing a really bad job of providing housing to people in the Gulf. We're involved with many organizations in this room, DREDA, Nickel, CRLA, Wilson Sonsini, MALDEF, Greater Bakersfield Legal Aid, in challenging the disproportionate suspension and expulsion of black and brown kids, particularly kids in special ed. finding are really repellent and, uh, and it makes you understand why there's a direct pipeline from suspensions and expulsions to prison um, and we're finding that these stereotypes and negative views of kids of color influence who gets suspended and who gets expelled. 
Um, I want to let you know about something that's coming up towards the, in a little bit after you eat. We're going to do an auction. And I'm going to be the first person who uh, uh, has a bid because I was reading this metaphysical book. Yes, I'm metaphysical. Um, and it said basically, if you believe in your organization and the work that you're doing, then you should show how you feel about it. So I'm going to show you how I feel about EJS with the first bid. And I hope it will encourage others of you to bid. Some of you have paid a lot of money to be here. You don't have to pay any more. Enjoy your dinner. We're not going to go into here. <laughs> Go ahead on. But if there's some of you out there with trust funds and you're feeling guilty because you have so much money, you sold short in the stock market, I don't even know what that means. But you made a lot of money and you feel guilty about it, bid, bid early and often. Because what you'll enable us to do is hire another attorney. And Allison, do we need another attorney? Girlfriend's pregnant and she needs some help. So. So I'm trying to do that. <laughs> um, so the last thing I'll say is this. The honorees are amazing, uh, just amazing. Um, and they really span the civil rights movement from the early days of the sit-ins and the farm workers to the current day of Black Lives Matter, fight for immigrant rights. It's, it's an honor, an honor to honor them. They're just fantastic. So I want to thank you all for coming. All of you I love. I'm glad my friends are here. Um, I hope you have a really good time, and thank you for supporting the Equal Justice Society. Good night.